in today's video i'll be showing you the best exotic ingram prime ingram farm in destiny 2 season of the haunted before we hop into today's video if you can hit that like button and sub that'd be greatly appreciated also for those who don't know i have a discord if you want to join the links in the description below so i haven't been posting exotic farms recently and i did get a lot of comments asking hector can you post another exotic ingram farm well i'll do that in today's video okay so, for starters, obviously, I showed a lot of the basic methods on how you can farm exotics, and there is only a few left that you guys can use, but one can be located over here. Now, if you did not know, currently, the Lost Sectors are out. Now, currently, this Lost Sector is the Quarry. If solo exotic chest, this is one of the easiest Lost Sectors to do in the game. This can be completed within two minutes of time, and that is insanely fast, because you can actually skip the champions, and therefore, it's pretty broken and really, really easy to do. Um, if you can't do legend lost sectors you're kind of going to be in trouble and you're not going to be able to do the most efficient farming but however don't worry if you guys for some reason don't have the lost sectors or you just can't do them um another thing you can do is go to the moon um this is the best version of a lost sector i can really give without like i'm not even going to sugarcoat it i would get your light level up if you're trying to farm exotics uh the main reason why is because I mean, it's not, it's just not going to be ideal for you guys. You're going to want to do these all sectors. You can obviously sit there and, you know, shoot a yellow bar enemy for five hours and not get anything. Or you could get something. It's completely random. So I can't really guarantee you guys anything. But if you guys can't do all sectors, nightfalls, and you're a completely free to play player, the best method for sure that I can show you guys just for free players i i'm sorry i i don't really have any other ideas for free players if you guys have anything in the comments below or any kind of farms i should cover let me know in the comments below um ideally i kind of am running out of ideas so if you guys found anything let me know because I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time making these videos now and I, I really feel like they're getting very repetitive and that's not what I want because I mean I'm at this point I'm kind of ready to go to title ideas so I mean but yeah that's not the main point um if you guys have any suggestions or anything for videos stuff like that like I've said I'll leave it below in the comments but you know I want to do what you guys want me to do but this is going to be a method for free to play players the quarry lost sector is by far the best uh, I would not waste your time I mean you this is not a waste of time you can get stuff from it but it's probably it's a chance it's 50 50 like you're not guaranteed anything with the lost sector you're pretty much guaranteed loot every time and it will only take you two minutes so by far the best way is the lost sector easily um i would suggest if you are free to play just to take your time and do this you will get an exotic quest line you'll get the divinity quest but yeah if you haven't gotten divinity already the exotic trace rifle but i'm trying to you know make this video as short as possible for you guys i've shown this method before but this is by far the best way to farm lost sectors or not lost sectors uh, exotics if you are a free to play player because i mean you have no other access to anything but the quarry lost sector is just the way you really want to be doing that lost sector it is by far one of the fastest lost sectors in the game i know that i've seen videos of someone completing it under two minutes which is absolutely insane and i mean that's kind of broken because that's going to allow you to sit there and farm a lost sector which i mean it's not much work you just need a few certain weapons and all that but yeah um when you complete that uh kill all these ads you're gonna see something spawn now you're gonna want to make sure that this thing spawns in it's gonna be a ginormous minotaur you're gonna want to make sure you kill it obviously usually it spawns in after five waves of killing these annoying ads the only downside with this method is you have to kill all these red bars which i absolutely cannot stand because they're so annoying to kill um i'm trying to keep this as short as possible for you guys because you know i'm sure you guys have other things to do in your day but yeah like i said if you guys have any type of video suggestions anything please leave them in the comments because i'm trying to switch up content stuff like that and i want to move away from doing like different or i want to try and do different types of content regarding destiny obviously but yeah um let's kill this ginormous minotaur that spawned in boom uh now it, it takes two hits i did not get anything that time but this method's like five out of ten times you'll get something it's definitely hit or miss but yeah um if you want to restart this all you need to do is go back the way you came but yeah um if you guys found this video helpful or informative make sure you hit that like button and sub like always thanks for watching have a great